So basically, really gotta do, you just go over to the character inserter that you got with Moon Animator, make your own template, right? And put handles on it quickly. So what I do, I just go to there, right? Scale it. I usually make it like one to one. You wanna match the part up to the hand. So here, name a handle. You can put it, you don't really put it anywhere. I'm gonna handle right, right arm, um, but easy weld, right? Parts, animatable, right arm. Go here, join it in place, right? It's gonna put a motor 6D in it. You can do both sides, but I'm only gonna do one just for this video. Um, go here, shouldn't be anything. Go to Expo Rig Legacy, put it here. I just name it. Our name R6, right? So now oh wait, you can clear the meta parts so you're now I'm gonna go to Blender, press A and then press X, delete everything here. And you import it with the RBX animations plugin. Oreo. Alright, so look, now you got your rig, right? You can go over here and press texture, show everything. I'm mess with it in a second. You wanna rename every part. You press F2. Just rename it to what it's supposed to be from our studio. So after it, you press N, and you're gonna go over to RBX Animations, rebuild the rig, click through the nodes, and then you can straight match in parts. Now you can go into pose mode, you know, just make sure everything works how it's supposed to work. You have, it's basically gonna be like a FK rig, right? How, um, how you can make the legs unparented, I'm gonna do it in a second, right? So usually I'll just save this one just see what it says FK. Put all this here. Set it up how I like to set it up. Wait, no. I like that. Usually I do the vertical split. The timeline down here. I gotta put this on right here. Add off, control C. Wrap this. So now you have it. So you can put your keyframes in and it'll work like usual, right? I like to set mine like this as zero, save it. And if you want to change, like, there's like a lot of different things you can do. Like you can go to my cap and have it like this, like just mess with it however you like to do it. Usually I'll probably put it like that with the viewport a little bit darker. Add that, cavity, don't want to do both. And I just kind of turn all this up, so, you know, now you got a basic this right? So to make it unparented though, I'm going to do a whole new save. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename the arm shader underscore rig, right? I'm going to duplicate the collection, right? Make that unseen. I'm going to go to object mode, click on the bones, press edit mode. You're going to go down here. Okay. Bones, right? When click the legs, you take it off the torso and get rid of the local location. And go back to object mode and move on to the other rig, right? Now you're gonna make this copy everything on the other rig. Just copy, just do this for every single part. So now you go back over here, object mode, pose mode, and you should have the unparented legs, right? And for the unparented, I like to have the things underneath for my ghost onion, the balls. You can just go to object mode, press add, then you're going to go to mesh, you add the UD sphere, and press S, you can just like make it smaller. Kind of try to mesh it up where they have the UD. Duplicate it, put it over. You know, click, shift, control P, object, you do that for both of them. And you gotta put the spears inside the collection. Alright. I'm gonna rename this left leg spear, or left leg ball. Right leg ball. 
And I'm going to delete the keyframes from down here. And you can just see if it, um, if you did it right. Shouldn't go with the leg. So now that you got the two rigs, you can, um, put a weapon on him. Or let's say I got this gun. Um, I didn't fit where it needs to be. So I just jump to the words and just set it up and just go like this. Rotate it how I need it to be. I'm going to place it where I want it on the rig. So you see I got it there. Now I'm going to shift and click on the bone, like the pose mode. I'm going to shift and click on the handle again. Control P and then parent it to the bone. So now I do it. It'll just be on the handle. Now you got your entire rig set up. Um, if you have any questions, join Aven Discord or just join my port. I'll answer this as quickly as I can.